Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Actistat, Adina Springs, Breeders' Cup Challenge Win and Your In Series, Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Endeavor Farm, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Jerry Parks Insurance Group, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Quill and Leather and Tack, Spendthrift Farm, Thoroughbred Owner Conference, and Windstar Farm. Hi everyone, I'm Kate and Bradar filling in for John Henderson on this edition of Thoroughbred Week, featuring a Texas bred winner of the Grade 3 Super Derby and five stakes races from Kentucky Downs, including a repeat winner of the Grade 3 Kentucky Turf Cup. We begin with two-year-olds in the Grade 3 Arlington Washington Futurity, well abled the 3-2 favorite. John G. Dooley has the call. It's well abled. The lead star empire by a half to three quarters. Romeo or oh, Romeo third as they enter the turn with Oso ready. Fourth on the outside, three furlongs to go. Ptolemy is fifth being driven as they round the far turn. 747 is eight from the lead. Joined out wide by Maxis, and then Bird's Nest Party under pressure being ridden, but finding Zilch. Further back stand and cheer with St. Louis Guy. Bird's Nest Party is last, here's the quarter pole. And Well Abled spins them in. Half mile, 46 seconds flat. It's Well Abled coming down toward the final furlong leads, a fully extended star empire. Romeo, oh Romeo with a charge on the outside. 747 and stand and cheer is next. They have a 16th to go and pulling clear is well abled. Well abled has come clear from Romeo or Romeo. Star Empire 747. Stand and cheer and St. Louis guy. Well abled decisively in the Arlington Washington Futurity. Well abled by Darby Dan Farm Stallion Shackelford draws off to defeat Romeo O Romeo by seven and three quarter lengths. E.T. Baird aboard the two-time Keeneland sales graduate in 124 and three. A first out maiden winner by seven lengths over the track. The Larry Ravelli trainee was last seen finishing a close second in the Skidmore Stakes at Saratoga. The colt was bred in Kentucky by PTS Ranch. A $340,000 OBS April two-year-old, well abled has earned $96,000 for Carolyn Wilson. Darby Dan Farm leading freshman sire Shackelford, the only American Classic winner at stud from the Stormcat sire line. Sire of eight first crop two-year-old winners to date, including well abled, dominant winner of the grade three Arlington Washington Futurity. Look for top yearlings by Shackelford at the Keeneland September sale. To Kentucky Downs for fillies and mares in the ladies sprint on turf. Mississippi Delta, the three to two favorite. John Lees picks up the call. They're coming for the stretch now on Quiet Prediction and Sophie Duell. They try to make a break for it. They've opened up here by two, but suddenly Mississippi Delta right at her on the scene, and she lengthens her stride. It challenges they straighten away. Coming on to Miss Double Dioro, late spring on the far outside, Rumble Doll. They're coming for the final quarter now. It's Mississippi Delta going on strongly. She does have competition, but she is loaded. And look at Mississippi Delta. She's doing her thing. She's opening up impressively. Rapid rhythm, giving a game chase in second. She can't match Mississippi Delta, and Florent Giroux strikes again, stylish by two lengths. Mississippi Delta sprints to victory officially by a length and three quarters over rapid rhythm. Florent Giroux up in 118 and three. A stakes winner at both two and three at Woodbine, the four-year-old filly by Giants Causeway snaps a five-race losing streak. The Mark Cassie trainee was coming off a third-place finish in the grade three Royal North Stakes. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Mike Rutherford, who is co-owner along with Jackpot Ranch. Mississippi Delta has earned $488,000. Florent Giroux with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horsebands, the safest way to the winner's circle. To Laurel Park now for turf fillies and mares in the Lady Baltimore Stakes. Onus, the four to five favorite. Dave Rodman picks up the call. Monster Sleeping and Robillard continue 1 2 through 47 and 1 half mile heading on with the far turn. Onus is out in the clear and Tutti Paese is boxed in down on the inside, racing in fourth. First four bunched up by three lengths. Then back to Ginger and Rye. Vilsom's trying to kick from six lengths off the lead as now Robillard has taken that lead. All of a sudden, Monster Sleeping a drop back suddenly there. Onus looming on the outside. Onus and Robillard at the top of the lane after six in 111 flat speed. Sprinting on for home, they quicken from Tutti Paisi, Ginger and Ryan, Vilsam out of the center of the track, going willingly through the last eighth of a mile. And Onus now put to the drive. Robillard's a tough customer to the inside, and Tutti Paisi is third. Onus's class is coming through. Onus still perfect on the Laurel Park turf. She's four for four on the Laurel turf. Onus and Forest Boys from Robillard. 
Odds on favorite Onus by Claiborne Farm Stallion Blame defeats Robillard by a length and a quarter. Forrest Boyce up in course record time of 139 and four. Onus is four for four over the Laurel Turf, including the grade three Commonwealth Oaks at three. The Shug McGehee trainee has been off the board in her last two starts against grade one company at Saratoga. The four-year-old filly was bred in Kentucky by her owner, Stuart S. Janney III. Onus has earned $318,000. For all your insurance needs, a specialist at Jerry Parks Insurance Group is there to assist you with 40 years of exceptional coverage. Look for Jerry Parks, John Cassie, or Kelly Weeks at the Keeneland September sale. Next, turf fillies and mares at Monmouth Park in the Grade 3 Violet Stakes. Isabella Sings, the 3-5 to five favorite. Frank Miramati has the call. Eight lengths covers them a half mile to go in the Violet Stakes. Isabella Sings, unchallenged. A length and a half to the good of All in Fun second. Then comes Tammy the Torpedo third. Sweet Acclaim continues her rally, taking fourth. Five lengths off the lead as they start to sprint for home. Biamonte has lost some ground. And Desiree Clary is the trailer. All in Fun with a bold move at the quarter pole. Right up alongside and puts her head in front of Isabella Sings, who's asked to counter in second. Two and a half lengths back to Tammy the Torpedo. She's had a good trip in third. And Sweet Acclaim on the outside. Final furlong. All in fun. Has put away Isabella Sings. Tammy the Torpedo, though, is surging on the outside. And Tammy the Torpedo up to all in fun. Tammy the Torpedo wins the Violet. Five to one, Tammy the Torpedo by Windstar Farm Stallion more than ready. Hits the wire a length and a half in front of all in fun, who is disqualified to fourth. Tony Gallardo aboard the Keeneland sales graduate in 149 and three. Winner of the grade three Swanee River Stakes in her seasonal debut, the Chad Brown trainee was coming off a runner-up finish in the grade three matchmaker stakes. The four-year-old filly was bred in Kentucky by William B. Harrigan. A $225,000 OBS April two-year-old, Tammy the Torpedo has earned $355,000 for Long Lake Stable and Beacon Hill Thoroughbreds. The future graded stakes winner was consigned by Harrigan's Mia Comet Farm to the 2013 Keeneland September yearling sale, where the filly was purchased by Vidalia LLC for $100,000. Grade three Violet Stakes winner, Tammy the Torpedo, the Keeneland sales graduate of the week. There's more racing coming up, but first, here's the upcoming schedule in the Breeders' Cup Win and You're In Challenge Series. The best seek fame and fortune. The best is elegance at 120 decibels. The best run all day and party all night. The best are speed, power, and grace. The Breeders' Cup. With 13 championship races and 28 million in purses and awards, the best is yet to come. The graded stakes winning son of Bernardini is off to a sensational start at stud. Among the leading freshman sires by winners in graded stakes horses, his first crop two-year-olds commanded prices up to 36 times his stud fee. Leading progeny include TD and Rising Star Recruiting Ready, second in the Bashford Manor Stakes, and stakes place for former Junket. The pedigree, speed, and class to become the next star in this sensational sire line. Algorithms at Claiborne Farm. And now, a Florida thoroughbred history moment. In 1956, a small, feisty horse from Florida named Needles and his owners Jack Dudley and Bonnie Heath shocked the racing world, winning the Kentucky Derby. Needles proved that champions with modest pedigrees could be grown in the Sunshine State, thanks to the limestone-rich soil and spring water. His wild acclaim created the horse capital of the world that we know today. This has been a Florida thoroughbred history moment. Quillen has been providing quality leather goods worldwide since 1982. Our custom halters are handmade in the nation's largest halter shop right here in Paris, Kentucky. From checkbook covers, wallets, and a variety of gift items, or one of our famous handcrafted halter plate belts or work belt, all are hand finished in our leather shop. And for over 30 years, not a lot has changed in the way we do business and the quality of service and products you'll get at Quillen. Quillen Leather and Tag, South Main Street in Paris, or online at Quillen.com. 
Don't miss your opportunity to attend the next Thoroughbred Owner Conference being held at Santa Anita Park, October 31st through November 3rd, the same week of the 2016 Breeders' Cup Championships. Enjoy a great lineup of speakers and topics, plus be part of the close position draw for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Your conference registration also includes reserved grandstand seating for both days of the Breeders' Cup. The Thoroughbred Owner Conference, October 31st through November 3rd at Santa Anita. Register now at ownerview.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Grade 3 Kentucky Turf Cup coming up in this segment. We begin at Kentucky Downs with a more than ready mile. Watch your own bobber, the even money favorite. John Lees picks up the call. About five furlongs to go, coming around the turn now, and Song Sational sets this pace in hand by a length and a half. Watcher on Bobber also has horse in second, so does Dimension. All three traveling well now with less than a half mile to go. Two and a half back to Power Ped, stalking in fourth. Then Thatcher Street, and Goatstown tries to move in from behind. He's got six lengths to make up. They turn it up now as they come towards the top of the stretch. These top three coming together now, and Watch Your Own Bobber comes to confront Song Sational. Watch Your Own Bobber is now delivered for the drive. He comes up to Song Sational, but he's got a kick as well. And dropping back, Dimension didn't have it. They're coming into deep stretch. Watch Your Own Bobber. And Watch Your Own Bobber assumes command, and he extends his advantage. He's going on determinedly down the stretch. There's no stopping Watch Your Own Bobber. And Florent Giroux, uh, Julian Leperu here, Watch Your Own Bobber is going on here, geared down over the wire, an impressive winner of the more than ready mile. Watch your own bobber draws off to defeat Song Sational by four and a half lengths. Julian Leperu aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 138 and four. The third consecutive stakes victory for the former claimer who won his last two starts at Indiana Grand and Mountaineer Park. The four-year-old colt by Hardspun was bred in Kentucky by Ashview Farm and Colts Neck Stables. Trainer Mike Maker claimed the colt for $50,000 on behalf of Ken and Sarah Ramsey as a two-year-old. Watch Your Own Bobber has earned $566,000. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. To Parks Racing for the PTHA President's Cup, War Dancer, the 3-5 to five favorite. Keith Jones has the call. A little bit more than a half mile to go in the PTHA President's Cup. And Uncle Dave is on top by about a half length. Roman Approval is still on hold on the outside. He's sitting second by a length and a half. Theory of the Norseman will be three wide to the far turn as well. War Dancer still covered up. He's two lengths back at the inside. He's fourth with three furlongs to run. And North Star Boy trying to quicken at the back, but he's still fifth as they now round the far turn. Roman Approval is right at the neck of Uncle Dave. War Dancer trying to make some way out from in behind those two. As they approach the top of the stretch, it's Uncle Dave who kicks clear. Uncle Dave comes off the turn and opens up by two and a half. War Dancer now comes off the inside and takes aim as they come to that last furlong. War Dancer trying to get to Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave is still in front. War Dancer is full out. He's gaining with a 16 to go. Uncle Dave on the inside. War Dancer too much. War Dancer takes the lead in the shadow of the wire. War Dancer's got it. Odds on favorite War Dancer by Claiborne Farm Stallion Warfront scores by three quarters of a length over Uncle Dave. Roman approval third for a sweep by Keeneland Sales graduates. Junior Alvarado aboard in 152 and one. Winner of the grade three West Virginia Derby at three and the grade three Louisville Handicap at four, the Belmont trainee was coming off a third place finish in the grade three Oceanport Stakes. The six-year-old horse was bred in Kentucky by Cherry Valley Farm and Stuart S. Janney III. A $25,000 Keeneland November weanling and a $220,000 yearling War Dancer becomes racing's latest millionaire with his victory in the President's Cup. Back to Kentucky Downs for the Grade 3 Kentucky Turf Cup. Last year's winner, Da Big Hoss, the 1-2 favorite. Once again, here's John Lees. Rum Tum Tugger from the inside and Bullard's Alley, the inside too, now out to show the way as they'll wander over towards the right here, making that run up the hill towards the top. They're joined on the outside by Life's Journey. These three to show the way. But now on the outside comes Verger. Verger comes to join actually splitting horses here with a middle move. He goes to prompt that pace. Sevy's Road is back there with the white blinkers, and then it's Behesht. Further back to the Big Hoss. He's staying within range. He's not terribly far back. because on the inside of Power Foot. And that puts Green Grass of Wyoming now at the back. He's maybe seven or eight lengths off the lead. So up the gradual incline. They're at the top now, about to come down for the dip. You've got a Rum Tum Tugger on the inside, Bullard's Alley. On their outside there, that was Verger, which came up to prompt that pace. Seve's Road is not far back, and the Big Hoss is creeping ever closer without being asked. He's down there on the inside. 
There's B hashed, Life's Journey. Life's Journey on the far outside is now ranging up to fourth, and the trailer is still Green Grass of Wyoming. Now coming around this long turn, Rum Tum Tugger has gotten clear here in front by a length and a half. Back at him is Bullard's Alley on the route side there, Verger. Then Life's Journey, Seve's Road is fifth and four lengths off the lead. Then Behashed, the Big Hoss stays to the inside now. He's gaining ground. He's coming on within four of the lead now. He's gone by a power foot and far outside, Greengrass of Wyoming tries to launch a bid and he's got horse. He's coming on quickly from behind now. Look for him on the extreme outside. As they come for the top of the race now, complexion changing quickly. The Big Hoss suddenly bursts on the scene, but on the far outside, might have to deal with Greengrass of Wyoming. So these two come ranging up now for the stretch drive. Bullard Tally has run a good race, and Rum Tum Tugger is dropping back into deep stretch now. Here's the test for the Big Hoss. Does he have it? He appears to have plenty. It's the Big Hoss in front. He's driving, but he's in front. Bullard Alley has run a huge race on the inside. The Big Hoss is extended, but he will not be beat. It's four in a row. The Big Hoss repeats and takes the Calumet Farm Kentucky Turf Cup. Odds on favorite De Big Hoss repeats as winner of the Kentucky Turf Cup by a length and a quarter over 18 to 1 Bullard's Alley. Laurent Giroux aboard in 235 flat. Another successful claim for Mike Maker, who haltered the turf star for $50,000 just over a year ago. De Big Hoss has captured seven stakes off the claim, including his last four starts. The Kentucky bred five year old horse by Lemon Drop Kid began his career racing for his breeders, Gary and Mary West. Now racing in the colors of Sky High Racing, De Big Hoss has a bankroll of $1,551,000. De Big Hoss paid $3 to win and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. Spendthrift Farms Malibu Moon, AP Indy's leading sire seven years running. Malibu Moon continues on the rise of the Keeneland September sale, represented by Book One Colts and Phillies, selling for up to $550,000. Watch for yearlings by Malibu Moon at the Keeneland September sale. Danza and Permanent Campaign streaking under the line together, and Danza wins by a half length. And Danza is the leader of the Arkansas Derby in a sparkling performance. Is making short work of the Arkansas Derby field. Danza is the boss as he wins by five. Endeavor Farm is located just outside of Midway on the Old Frankfurt Pike. We will board horses for a number of different clients throughout the United States and Canada. We will focus on breeding mares. We also will be doing sales prep either for the yearling sales here in Kentucky or for the breeding stock sales also here in the fall and in the early winter. We have our hands on every horse here every day. Endeavor Farm prides itself on being able to give individual care to every animal here. United States. When you own a New York bred, your horse can run for more than $44 million in purses restricted to registered New York breds. And the New York program pays awards to breeders, owners, and stallion owners when their New York breds finish first, second, or third at New York tracks. We have the quality. Day at the spa all the way. You have the opportunity. New York breds, get with the program. The best program. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week. With the Dueling Grounds Derby coming up in this segment, three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. We begin with Phillies in the Dueling Ground Oaks. Terralina, the two-to-one favorite. Once again, here's John Lees. So there's five furlongs to go, still Celestial Insight to show the way, and she's gotten clear now by two and a half lengths. 
Trust Your Luck is racing second as they come around this turn. Down on the inside, that is Terralina racing fourth as Outsider Art has now taken third. Shelby Smile in fifth has got six lengths to make up. Then Mine as well, School Board Press and Leafy Shade. Blame It On Me is back there fourth last, has got nine lengths to make up. And then back there behind that is Galilea, Harlan County, and Inconclusive has not had a good trip here today, has dropped out last. So they come for the top of the stretch, and Try Your Luck becomes a major presence, breezing towards the top of the stretch and about to assume command, and Try Your Luck could be toughed to down. Taking over from Celestial Insight, then Outsider Art, Shelby Smile is in gear, but going to have to be launched to catch Try Your Luck. And Try Your Luck is just opening up and powerfully through the stretch. As she is full of stamina. She switched just leads just for icing on the cake and Florent Giroux the man of the day and here's another stakes win the dueling grounds Oaks hands down to try your luck three to one second choice try your luck draws off to defeat Terralina by seven and a half lengths for a one two finish by Keeneland sales graduates Florent Giroux up in two eleven and three the first stakes victory for try your luck who was disqualified from an apparent victory in the grade three pucker up stakes the filly by looking at Lucky was bred in Kentucky by Fred Hertrick III and John Fielding. Another Mike Maker claims she was haltered for $75,000 at Gulfstream Park in February on behalf of Out of This World Racing. Try Your Luck has earned $225,000. Access Thoroughbred Week replays every Saturday on Thoroughbred Daily News at thetdn.com. Next, the Dueling Grounds Derby, Aeroforce the 7 to 5 favorite. Once again, here's John Lees. Mad Tap on the inside has improved to lead now by three parts of a length to Little Scotty. It's two and a half to Nessie taking third. Arrow Force is a patient fourth. Oscar nominated begins to gain easily on the outside. He's taken fifth. Then Path of David, Trinitas Soldier, Call the Colonel, begins to drop back at the half mile pole. It's a gap of four back to Cordon. Then Manitoulin and the trailer is Crescent Drive. He's got a dozen to make up. They're coming for the three furlong pole. It's still Little Scotty, Mad Tap, a clash of greys, but a big gray arrow force behind them's got a big shot, and he's just waiting to be cut loose. Oscar nominated Path of David has made progress. He's coming up on the outside now to be a factor. Cordon is coming from far back as they all straighten away. There are many chances in the Dueling Grounds Derby, about a quarter to decide it. And Oscar nominated brought a big race today. Arrow force is going to have to do better. I don't think he has it. It is Oscar nominated suddenly bursting clear. Look at at this finish by Oscar nominated and the man of the day Florent Giroux he's just unstoppable but on horses like these Oscar nominated an impressive winner of the Exacta Systems Dueling Grounds Derby. Mike Maker and Florent Giroux team up for another stakes win with three to one second choice Oscar nominated defeating Path of David by six and a quarter lengths. Time of the race 2 11 and 2. Maker claimed this winner for $75,000 out of a maiden victory at Belmont Park at two on behalf of Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey. Winner of the Grade 3 Spiral Stakes, the Kentucky Derby alum was coming off a fifth place finish in the Grade 1 Secretariat Stakes. The Colt by Kittens Joy was bred in Kentucky by Mrs. Jerry Ammerman. Oscar nominated has earned $628,000. Coming up, a Texas bred Colt takes the Super Derby in Louisiana. The Windstar Farm Star Breeders of the Month are Andy and Susan Beadnell. Andy and Susan are the breeders of Have You Gone Away. The New York bred daughter of Congrats had a stellar meet at Saratoga, winning both the Honorable Miss and, it is, have you gone away. and the Grade 1 Ballerina, becoming the first Grade 1 winner for the Beadnells and her trainer Tom Morley. Have You Gone Away has won! Thank you, Andy and Susan. You make the dream possible. Colony provides the best coverage with the best service at the best rates. 
insuring many of the finest farms and horses in the country at discounted rates for over 50 years. Let Old Colony provide insurance quotations from one of its nearly 20 different markets that will compete for your business. Old Colony Insurance, serving the horse industry with strength and stability at great rates for over 50 years. For more information, visit us online at oldcolonyinsurance.com. Hey racing fans, with EmpireCityBets.com you can now place wagers from the comfort of home on thoroughbred and harness tracks around the world. Empire City Bets is an advanced deposit wagering service that offers both internet and phone wagering. With EmpireCityBets.com you get sign up bonuses up to $300, weekly promotions and daily rewards on most tracks including an industry high of 8% on Yonkers races. You also enjoy live video and race replays and with exclusive content from some of the best handicappers around there's no other place you'll want to bet. Don't race to any other site, race to EmpireCityBets.com. Every fall, the best thoroughbred athletes in the world come to Keeneland to compete for over $5.2 million in purses in world-class events like Fall Stars Weekend, featuring nine graded stakes races, five of them grade one. The meet also features eight win and your end races for the Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. Nomination deadline is September 21st. Be a part of the tradition and nominate your horse in Keeneland's prestigious stakes program today. Time now for the feature race of the week, presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. The Louisiana Downs for three-year-olds in the Grade 3 Super Derby. Dalmore at 9 to 5, a slight favorite over Texas Chrome. Here's the call by John McGarry. Opening quarter, a moderate one, 24-59. Dalmore the leader onto the backstretch. There's room on the inside for mending fences. He comes on through looking to engage for the lead. What everybody wants has been maneuvered to the center of the track in third and Texas Chrome right there biding his time at the back of the leading group in fourth through a half in 49-13. Then it's Classy Bird outside of Mo Tom and far back is Fort Pulaski. Now the tempo is quickening as they leave the half mile pole. Dalmore is in charge. What everybody wants moves to second. Texas Chrome in between rivals. Mo Tom with an early move from the outside. Mending fences right there. Far outside, Classy Bird. Five links to Fort Pulaski. Six furlongs, 113.27. Texas Chrome slicing his way through to poke ahead in front. Dalmore emboldened by the challenge. Battles right back. What everybody wants is on the far outside. Then it's Mending Fences. Mo Tom has his work cut out for him. Into the stretch of the Super Derby. Texas Chrome digs in. Dalmore ready to throat latch in second. What everybody wants is in third. Texas Chrome is grimly holding on. Dalmore on the outside. What everybody wants. Texas Chrome. Dalmore. Texas Chrome. He has proved equal to the task. He wins the Super Derby. The top two betting choices battle it out with Texas Chrome defeating Dalmore by half a length. C.J. McMahon up in 149 and 4. Texas Chrome earned an automatic spot in the field by winning the Super Derby Prelude Stakes and makes the most of the opportunity by recording his first graded stakes victory. The Texas Bread Colt by Grasshopper was a $10,000 Texas sale yearling. Texas Chrome has earned $602,000. J.R. Caldwell trains the winner for Keen Thoroughbreds. There's a big weekend of turf racing at Woodbine, including the Grade 1 Woodbine Mile featuring Teppan, the Grade 1 Northern Dancer Stakes, and the Grade 1 Natalma Stakes for two-year-old fillies. We'll have those races, plus graded stakes action from Belmont Park, Charlestown, and Churchill Downs, all next week here on Thoroughbred Week. For John Henderson, I'm Kate and Braid are saying thanks for watching. Good luck at the races. Thoroughbred Week has been presented by Actistatin, Adina Springs, Breeders' Cup Challenge Win in Your In Series, Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Endeavor Farm, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Jerry Parks Insurance Group, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Quillen Leather and Tack, Spendthrift Farm, Thoroughbred Owner Conference, and Windstar Farm. Online at TBreadWeek.com.